Nem se vá.
and they're only a couple of years old. At 18 feet tall, they are a powerful statement indeed. When they mature, six feet a species that could disappear in our lifetime because they're only two in captivity in the Western Hemisphere, both of which are here at the park, maybe five in the Czech Republic last year in captivity, and none in the wild because they've all been poached. The northern white rhino indeed is in serious. Your trees every day so we can re-up the supply and not have to plant a tree every day. But as far as others in camouflage go, I'll bet you two to one, it's difficult for you to try and see it. Here on the left is Kudu, not the top and the larger, greater Kudu. But when a horn breaks off, they don't grow back. They're not like antlers that shed seasonally and grow in larger. He will have now the roan antelope, the both males and females have horns, and they too like the wooded areas. So all of the elf, and since it is the time of year where births have occurred, there have been for some of them, and believe me, if the adults are that tiny, it's, you'd be hard pressed to find the baby. Another species that have are called blessbok, and they're only found in reserve, no longer in the wild. And a brand new baby for the roan antelope that was born yesterday, nation, which she's in the process of doing, and then hiding it again, because for two weeks it has no scent. It's harder to find for a predator out in the wild. So again, a visual that is exceptional of a little one born yesterday. Thank you, Mom. There's that one right there. Leaving the roan antelope, what we'll do is go down this side. African agriculture. So to convince the people to save the land is important for their migratory paths to sustain the stock. We're trying to learn the third largest of the antelope. Asia and Algeria. Nice to be able to see them. Two other species exist in this enclosure, but they're so far over the hill, they're not making it easy at all. That's to the and we've been in operation since 72. But before that, the San Diego Zoo actually got started in the trees. Mm -hmm. well, Taking full advantage of that moment. And when he arrived here about two and a half years ago, the tallest giraffe we ever had was 18 feet. He is 20 feet tall. Yeah. Placing him in a nursery also helps, which they do. The babysitter. If ever you want to get a really close view of giraffe, take one of those photo caravans because you can book it through the ticket booths, get on board, and then feed a giraffe. And there are at least two species up there. The two-toned brown Kenya Paula that can actually outdistance a cheetah because they can go 55 miles an hour, and the fluffy brown Defossa water buck, but so You're standing in front. Park setting. You can stick in his mouth.
<laughs> build a campfire. Huh? Gonna build a campfire. <laughs> African. Oh wow. There's a, I didn't see that little one. <laughs> you thought that one, but there's a baby. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow, it's pretty big for a baby, huh? No, no, no. Sticks close to mommy. <laughs> they know he's like surprisingly like flexible here. Bend in all different directions. It, it's like a mouth almost. Take a picture of me with me. That's funny. Yeah. Talk to mom. There we go. Oh, it's camper like crazy, huh? Four times. We, we won't wait. We won't wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> 